recording. It's Friday morning, May 28th. You got Wild Bill in front of me on a uh, 1190. There's Ed. We're heading down to uh, the Hill Country in Kerrville for the Hill Country 500. And do some dirt riding. I got to take it easy this weekend because I got two broken ribs and I got a big trip to Idaho coming up uh, in two and a half weeks. So, anyway, it's going to be fun camping out at the Kerrville Shiner Park. So, looking forward to that. Recording. I need you to bring me uh, three T bone steaks. Can you do that? Can you just run down there real quick? They're out of them. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. I went to buy a ribeye last night. 20 bucks. I mean, we're from 12 to 20. I mean, yeah, 20 bucks. And look at that gold mine right there, all that lumber. You can go over there and fund your retirement. That's. No, it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. And then you took it to the office. Last place I thought to look at. And then uh, Rich went by and got it for me. And then he had a business trip up here and took it up by my house. So, yeah. Yeah. Jimmy, good to see you again. Also, thank you for saving my backpack. Yeah. Look, look what it did on the – look. Look what I did on the back side of it when I went down 75 miles an hour. Look up there on top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad considering. I know it. That's yeah. pretty good backpack. Yeah. You know, I want to go right on one of these overnights. Yeah. Uh, I, every week I say, oh, I ought to do that. But you know what? Had a little bit of spit and rain and just here and there. It's been nice. Took a lot of these skinny roads. Got Bill behind me and Ed's leading us. A really nice day. Low winds. About 75 degrees. Had a lunch in San Saba and went west about two miles and picked up some nice little ranch roads through here. So having Yeah, I got Bill and Ed behind me. Well, so far I'm digging these uh, Motaz GPS tires. First time I had a front and a rear at the same time. And with this new bike, it, uh, it's really confidence inspiring. Well, I had to cut the dirt track short. Rain moved in, so going to kind of skirt around to Kerrville through the hill country on pavement it looks like uh, yeah dirt and rain it nah. too old for that how about that place Carville Shiner Park and this is Wild Bill's rig and we got down here about uh, five o'clock checked in and uh, Wild Bill's got his fixes for tonight he's a backpacker you can always tell a backpacker because they got the Cuban fiber tarps and uh, he's a real cowboy he's just gonna sleep on the ground He's not worried about creepy crawlers. He's just gonna sleep on the ground, put a sleeping bag over his head and go to sleep. Then you have the Taj Mahal over here. Oh, by the way, this place is not real quiet because the Interstate 10 is about five miles from here. There's a lot of people here. This is Memorial Day weekend. 
So we got a pretty full, they're sold out for this weekend. And then you got the Taj Mahal. I lower my hammock down or my under quilt down when it's warm outside. It's about 85 degrees out here. And I got my little uh, fan that I'll be using for this evening. And uh, expecting some rain tonight, so we'll, we'll probably get some rain. Kind of spit on us all day. We rode some dirt till a, the dirt road we were going to head into a, a heavy rainstorm, so we decided to hit the pavement, come on down here. So, yeah, down in the Texas Hill Country. We got dueling fires going. We got the firebox right there, and we have a, uh, I think it's the Amazon. Uh, generic stove there. Gonna we'll cook up some grub. Wild Bill. He's a real deal, man. <laughs> Bill, how was it? Just a bit. Look at that. He's got him a sirloin, a little rice. Cabernet. A little Life Cabernet. Is great. <laughs> <laughs> Camping in the rain. All right, we were able to uh, use my knife to open the door up. We got a severe storm outside. Everything is just, my hammock, man, it's just drenched. I mean, we had a purple storm cell club, but we're in here, though, so it's all good. Well, storm passed, and man, what a mess. Look at this, just, it's just, oh gosh, it's just obliterated everything. I don't know if you can, the camera picks it up or not. Uh, my GoPro made it through, so that's good. But man, it's just, just a freaking mess. Look at all that. I mean, it just pulled up all my tent stakes. We had 40 mile an hour winds. Just, uh. <laughs> Pitter-patter on my rain fly. And, uh, yeah. Little pitter-patter on my rain fly. Heck of a storm last night. Uh, here's, I'm gonna show you some campsite carnage. It is a bad evening for shelters, tents, tables. This was collapsed last night. I guess they set it up in the middle of the night. Slept like a baby though. 
after the initial storm came through and it just rained nice little pitter patter on my rain fly uh my stuff got a little wet so yeah this is why it's important to have good gear because it did get wet last night and my actually my rain fly came unstaked and then i had to take down my hammock and ran underneath that porch right there and uh you know past about 10 30 or so and then came back put my hammock back up put my rain fly back up and yeah the top quilt is down it's a little bit wet but i put my 93 93 degree heater inside of it and uh it dried it out and slept like a baby drank coffee in my tent this morning there's whispering dave he's up and around <laughs> I'd sleep. I slept good. That's yeah. a lot of storming. It was. Look at that carnage. Look at those tents over there. Yep. Yeah. Then... Going to Harbor Freight this evening. <laughs> what are you going to get at Harbor Freight? That's a good idea. That way it gives you double protection. Where did it get wet at? Did it come into the seams? Seams. Yeah, you can see the water running in the seam. That's what you get when you buy a twenty-four dollar tent, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get a thirty-five dollar tent. It's bad. Oh man. Well, according to my weather gauge or my rain gauge inside my jet bull, <laughs> looks like we got about an inch and a half of rain. <laughs> 